Tottenham are in for a stressful ride under Ainge Postacoglu. Strap yourself in Tottenham fans. Life under Ainge Postacoglu is not going to be dull. If anyone was wondering what things were going to be like at Tottenham Hotspur ah, after Harry, then the answer is, harem scarum. There will be plenty of exciting, attacking football, but boy, will there be some chewed fingernails. It was Pape Matar Sar who grabbed the winner last night at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, just 24 hours after Harry Kane had opened his account for Bayern, and it rewarded a display that saw Spurs fight their way into a game they had been woeful in to start with. As for Eric Ten Hag's United, they created plenty of chances, but missed them all. They simply had no plan B when Tottenham finally found their game. Mason Mount, all £60 million of him, looked utterly lost. Around 200 fans protested outside the ground before kick-off against Spurs chairman Daniel Levy and the raising of ticket prices, with banners proclaiming, greed is a choice, and chants of, I'm Tottenham, till I'm skint. It was the only blot on a fine evening for the club. Harry Maguire was left out of the United squad altogether and new £72 million striker Rasmus Hoyland was ruled out with a hamstring problem. They look like they will need him. Ten Hag's side actually took charge early on. As Tottenham started nervously, first Pedro Porro lost the ball, and Anthony flashed his shot over the bar, and then Alejandro Garnacho saw his drive save. Postacoglo's side at times looked very open at the back, and when Anthony sped into the box, Marcus Rashford stepped in to shoot, and Guglielmo Vicario had to pull off a fine save. Spurs simply had not got going, and Rashford missed a golden opportunity, nodding Bruno Fernandes crossover when unmarked. United then thought they might have had a penalty when Garnacho's shot hit Christian Romero's hand, but VAR said no. Spurs though were finally waking up, and when Hung Min Sun poked the ball through, Sar stole in to force Onana into a fine save. But Fernandez should have put United ahead, nodding wide from six yards when completely unmarked. It was a glorious chance. Spurs then hit back as Sun's run set up Poro, who smacked the bar with his shot from the edge of the box. Sar's cross then deflected off Luke Shaw into the post, and Lissandro Martinez finally hacked it clear. Suddenly United looked unsure, Postacoglu's side were growing into the game, though there is always that worry that they will drop a clangor at the back. But three minutes after half-time they were ahead. Dejan Kulisevsky got away on the right. His low cross looped up off Martinez, and there was Saar at the far post reacting quicker than anyone to ram the ball home. Barely used last season. The lanky Senegalese is getting his chance under Postacoglu. United could have been level minutes later, when Fernandez put Anthony clear, but he hit the post with a curling shot. At the back, United were collapsing, as Destiny Udogi sneaked through, and Onana had to save with his legs. Then Romero was brought down by Martinez, but referee Michael Oliver waved away claims for a penalty. And as ever though, there was room for error as Casemiro found space from Fernandez' free kick. But Vicario brilliantly tipped over his header. He pulled off another save in the final minute, pushing Varane's header onto the bar. Eve Basuma, who bossed the midfield and kept Spurs ticking in those moments when they wobbled, then dribbled through, only to poke his shot wide. Tottenham's second goal summed up United's worrying decline. Substitute Ivan Perisic crossed low, Ben Davies took a swing and just about touched the ball, and it flicked in off Martinez. Back to the drawing board, Eric, 